If you have ever had difficulty getting your data in Airtable to summarize correctly between linked tables, this video is for you. I'm going to be going step by step through a special field type called the rollup field. And I'm going to be going through the three most common uh, use cases that I've seen for this field type with working with my clients. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I am an Airtable and Zapier consultant who helps businesses get organized and automated, leaving them more time to work on their business instead of in their business. In this video, like I mentioned previously, I'm going to be taking a, a close look at a special field called the roll-up field. But before I get to that, definitely click subscribe if you are an Airtable user or maybe just somebody who wants to learn more about how Airtable can help you grow your business check out our content. I release a new video every week. So definitely check subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if this is content that you want to see more of. All right, but let's jump on into this example here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ch take a look at this example base that we've set up. So you'll see we just have two simple tables. This first table is just three different examples. And the important part is that each of these examples is linking to something on this second table. So, and then right here, we're gonna build three different types of rollups so that you can see the different power of the rollup field. Jumping back into this second table, you'll see we've got a couple of different uh, points of data. So the, the name of these records, one through six, that's not so important for our purposes. What we wanna look at is this, uh, this data here. And so we're gonna summarize this data, both amounts, dates, and team members. We're gonna summarize all of this stuff based on how these two tables are interrelated or linked. So let's go ahead and jump back into table one and take a look at this. So you'll see that our, the first rollup that we're gonna be looking at is the special type of rollup, which is a sum. And so what we have is these different examples are linked to different records back here. And you'll see that this is, you know, example two is linked to one and three. Example one is linked to two, four, six, and example three is, is linked to five. So all six of the records on table two are linked to one of these examples. And we want to see how we can summarize that data. So let's take a look at that sum. And so what we're going to do is select this field type to be what is called the roll up field type. And you'll see that the first thing that we need to do is establish what linked record we're going to be taking a look at. And in this case, we've only linked to one record. But in some cases, of course, you'll have records that have linked to multiple tables, right? In this case, though, there are no other options. It's just going to be this one table that we've linked to. And then we want to choose the field that we want to summarize or roll up. And so in this case, we're going to be taking a look at all the amounts. So all those dollar amounts, we want to take a look at those and the third step in the roll-up is choosing what kind of aggregation you want to do on this. And you see you've got a lot of different options here. Uh, the most popular three, of course, are the ones we're looking at in this video. And so uh, the one I'm going to be doing for this is the sum. And so you can just select this right here. And what this is going to do then is sum all of the amounts that are linked to each one of these records. Let's click save and take a look and see what that does. So I want to actually present this data in a currency format, which is the same way that it's represented on the, uh, on the other table. So we've got example one, which is linked to two, four, and six, and you see that the roll up here is 4,000. What does that signify? Let's take a look. If we go back over here, we have two is 1,500, four is 1,300. So if we add those together, that's 2,800. And then six is 1,200. So 28 plus 1,200 is 4,000. And that is what this is representing. So it is summing all of the amounts on table two that are linked to example one. Similarly, if we look at records one and three on table two, this is one for 1,000, three is 1,100. So we'll have a total of 2,100. We go back here and we see that that roll up amount is 2,100. And then in the last case, we only have the link to one record, it's record five. So if we look at that, sure enough, that record is 1400. So really what this is doing is it's summing all of the amounts that we've linked to in this table. So that's the most popular use case, or one of the most popular use cases for the rollup field. Let's take another uh, look at a second example. Now this is gonna be using the max uh, rollup value. 
So here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set up a rollup again. So this is the field type. And of course, we're looking at linked table again. And then we're going to jump and say, OK, what data do we want to look at? For this example, we're going to look at the date. And for the uh, aggregation function that we want to bring in, we're going to look at a max values. Now, what this is going to do, let's go ahead and click Save and take a look. This is going to return the latest or the, the largest value that it finds from all of the uh, different uh, linked records. So in this case, 11.22.2018 is going to be the largest date of all the dates that we've linked to here. So if we look at 2, 4, and 6 on table 2, we see a date of 11.11 .11 for 2, we see a date of 11.22 for 4, and 11.29 for 6. So you see it's automatically pulling back the max date, which is 11.22 in this case. This is really, really helpful if you're building a CRM and you're tracking interactions with a, with a client or a prospect and you want to track when the last time you spoke with somebody was. Similarly, you could also do a minimum values uh, and pull back the earliest date. So that is how we run a max values. So check that one off the list. And lastly, we're going to look at the unique function type here. All right, so let's do the exact same thing. We're going to set up that customize um, rollup field here. So we're going to select rollup as the type, linked table. This time we're going to look at the team members. So these team members are listed out in a single select field by first name. And what we want to do is return the, uh, the data type called unique. So it's a, it's a unique array of the values. Let's take a look at how that returns. So what we're doing here is we're actually returning a unique array, or excuse me, an array of unique values that are connected to these different, uh, these different records. So if we look at 2, 4, and 6 again, we would expect to see each team member, one of each of these team members. Let's go ahead and take a look. On 2, we see Rachel. On 4, we see Gareth. And on 6, we see Fabian. And that is what's being returned here. Rachel, Gareth, Fabian. And uh, if we were to go here and look at 1 and 3, we would expect to see, which we do, Gareth and Fabian. And then lastly, if we look at 5, we'll see Rachel. So you see here Gareth and Fabian and then Rachel. So what it's doing is it's bringing back a unique array of all the folks who are attached to, that, to those records that are linked. So if we were to change the data on this other table, let's, let's look at this one again is linked to 2, 4, and 6. If we change 2, 4, and 6 to be one team member, let's say Rachel was in charge of all, uh, all three of those, when we go back to table 1, it's only bringing Rachel back one time because it's a unique array, or rather the, the array is looking for unique values. So it recognizes Rachel as repeating and it doesn't return it multiple times. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be really helpful. If you did, be sure to click subscribe so that you don't miss out on future Airtable and Zapier content. And if you have any special custom projects you'd like to uh, maybe get a little help with, definitely check out the comments below where I have a link to my consulting uh, calendar and you can just schedule some time to chat. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.